favorite scripture, probably Alma 31. I believe it's Alma 31 that talks about the seed. Do you know? Oh yeah, mustard seed. I just love the whole comparing concept. it to faith. Yeah, exactly. I just love the mustard seed concept of faith and it growing. So Alma 31. Look at us. Ether 12, 27. I give unto men weaknesses that he may be humble. I, humble unto the Lord and he makes them strong, makes them the strengths. That's my favorite. I don't know exactly what it is. Yeah, but. I mean, that's a good scripture. Ether 12, 27, which talks about making our weaknesses strengths mm -hmm. if we are humble before God. And that God gives us the weakness so that we are compelled to come to him. My favorite scripture that comes to mind is Helaman 5.12. Just basically putting your your faith on the rock of our Redeemer, who is Jesus Christ. You cannot fail. That means I cannot fail if I'm based on His solid foundation. Favorite scripture. There's a scripture in 2 Nephi 4, 34 and 35. And those two scriptures talk about trusting in God. It's Nephi. And he already, he already talked about how, you know, he, he said that he was like a, you know, oh, wretched man that I am or something like that, right? And Nephi is just the greatest, you know, and so what is he saying, wretched? But at the same time, he, he goes through this whole process of understanding that, hey, I will trust in God and I will trust in him forever, you know? And, and that right there is something that I want to always say that I will trust in God and trust in Him forever. My voice will forever ascend unto Him and, and just be so grateful for everything that He's done for me. So those are my favorite verses. DNC 10.5, pray always that you may come off conqueror, yea, that you may conquer Satan, that you may escape the hands of the servants of Satan that do uphold his work. Tell him. Yes. yes. I really like what in Alma, uh, Ammon converting the king Ammon converting King Lamoni, and I love that story of just a king who could, who didn't know God, know God so quickly and be changed so quickly that he passes out. This king passed out, woke up loving God. Like, that whole experience blows my mind. You know, one of my favorite scriptures is the shortest scripture. It's just Jesus wept. Uh. That he had, so he was like us. He, he had so much compassion and, and love for his friends that even his feelings could be hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him, believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Those were cool. Good nice. ones. Those are good scriptures. Oh.